Hey, what is going on, everybody? Jayon's back with another video for you guys. And thank you for tuning in to any reaction video that I've had lately. I uh, did a vlog, a one-year vlog. I'll leave that in the description down below if you guys want to go check that out of my journey back to PA and uh, how things have been going. Today, I'm going to present to you guys a album ranking tier list. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to be doing one of my favorite bands of all times. They mix everything from rap, hip-hop, rock, you name it, metal, you can even say, and pop music even, into one big giant greatness. That band is called Linkin Park. Feel free to subscribe, comment away, like this video, hit that notification bell so you guys know when there's more videos just like this or any kind of covers or reactions or tier lists on the way and these albums are in order in fact from the oldest to the newest and we're going to start off with lincoln park's debut record the legendary classic hybrid freaking theory released in 2000 this album i've heard a lot a lot of times uh, my sister actually gave me this record one time she just didn't want to listen to it anymore i remember she was like hey you want this record i had no idea what this band was and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll go check it out. I had a CD player at the time. Yeah, CD players. Yeah, if you guys know what those are, let me know down in the comments. Threw it in my CD player and just started giving a listen. I believe the first track on there is Paper Cut, I believe. And uh, just was really floored with it. And I was like, not thinking much of this band, but like as the album progressed and progressed, he had songs like In the End, Crawling, One Step Closer, uh, place for my head run away of course that's a good one points of authority uh, that's another great one uh, those are the notable tracks from it there's so many on this record that are good top to bottom great record and I was just floored this album is easy it's it's definitely gold I don't think I've ever heard anybody that is a Lincoln Park fan give it less of a rating than that that has done a tier list or and then next is Meteora from 2003 their second record I've only listened to this album all the way through twice in my life so I'm not crazy familiar with it but I was absolutely amazed with it both times I listened to it I just listened to it again recently I, I listened to all the albums again recently just so you guys know have a little bit of context but somewhere I belong uh, numb fate and breaking the habit are absolute absolute classics um, you don't even gotta listen to the whole record to know those songs, I think. Uh, of course, upon listening to the record recently, Easier to Run and Nobody's Listening became uh, instant favorites of mine as well. Uh, top to bottom, just like Harbor Theory, a really damn good record. And for the longest time, I was saying Harbor Theory was my favorite record. This album does rival Harbor Theory. I still think Harbor Theory is a little better because I think I'm just a little bit more familiar with Harbor Theory, but. This album is no doubt gold in my opinion. Go listen to this record. Go pick it up. Moving on to 2007's Minutes to Midnight. And I do remember these songs actually coming out. Like uh, Bleed It Out. I remember seeing the music video when that first came on MTV. Yes, MTV used to actually play music. It's called music television. Can you believe it? Ugh. Given Up. Um, that's a song I've covered with Ocean a handful of times. And absolutely my favorite song from this record and just probably a top 10 song from the band's discography in general really 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 tough song to sing really 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 high notes it gives you a headache you know to sing it but in a great freaking way uh, of course you got shadow today which is more of a ballad a really really soft side of lincoln park really 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 good deep song for sure and what I've done, first time I heard this song was on Guitar Hero World Tour. Leave It All, the rest is also one of the best from the record as well. And No More Sorrow as well. I recently became a fan of that song. Where would I put this one? I don't know if I'd put this in gold. I, I can't put it in gold. Uh, it's just not as good as Hybrid Theory or Meteoria, but definitely it's really good. So I could put it in silver. And then we're going to move on to A Thousand Suns in 2010. That's when this one was released. Uh, honestly, I was. This is the first album I listened to because uh, I, I listened to these in order as well. That I was just, I was, I was just not feeling it the whole time. Like the production value is good, and obviously everything's like you know in alignment. Everything sounds great and everything, but I wasn't moved by this album really all that much. The Catalyst was a pretty good song, I must say. That's the only song that really stood out to me. Otherwise, it was just kind of a flop to me. Uh, where to put this one? I honestly would just put it in trash. And then moving on to Living Things in 2012. The year we were all supposed to freaking die. 
And guess what? It's 2021, baby. We're all still here. One of my favorite songs, probably a top 10 song as well, if I have enough to fit in my top 10 at this point anymore, uh, is Burn It Down. I forget how I heard this for the first time. I think I heard it on the radio for the first time. Lost in the Echo, uh, that's a song that a friend actually showed me a few years ago. Castle of Glass, I've always really, really enjoyed. But the rest of the record, honestly, really was a flop. I really wasn't digging it. Uh, so this record is definitely not going to be a silver or a gold tier. I would just kind of give it a, I got to give it an aluminum. I would just wasn't feeling that record at all. The hunting party in 2014. Uh, again, you know, just wasn't really feeling this record, uh, until it's gone was about the only song that I wrote down that really, really did anything for me was kind of bored with this record. I... Must say it was a little better than A Thousand Sons, but it was very, very comparable as far as entertainment value. Very good production again. Songs just didn't really move me, though. So I got to give this this one. It was a little better than A Thousand Sons, so I'll put it in Illumium as well. I think with this one, this one's tough. Uh, I think I could go trash if I put... Yeah, I think I got to... If I'm going to put this one in Illumium, I got to put... The Living Things record in bronze, I believe. I think that's what we'll do. I think that's only fair. 2017's Warmer Light, the last release, unfortunately. This is the last time we would hear anything from Chester Pennington. And then the song Warmer Light was almost, almost, really, really almost, to me, listening to it after his death, was almost like a goodbye, almost a suicide letter, you know, or note, whatever. Um, you know, saying goodbye to us. It was really, really, really touching song. Uh, I remember like hearing it for the first time. They did it live for Chris Cornell, who ironically hung himself. That's what they say. That's the reports. A month prior to Chester Bennington hanging himself as well. That's those are the reports, and that's what I'm going to stick by now. I'm not going to say any conspiracy theories at the moment, but that's what we have on record. To go with. Um, but I remember they sung it in his honor. And absolutely beautiful performance. I think I liked the live performance more than the record. Even though it's very comparable. Heavy is another song from this record. That I personally have covered um, a few times before. Not overly professionally in the future. If you guys want me to do this as a cover in the future. Or any of their songs. Request any down below in the comment sections. And I will gladly, gladly, gladly look into it for you guys. Uh, this is one band I would not mind covering. But anyway, I digress. Uh, back to Heavy. Uh, just a really, really, really good, I, I would say, pop song, honestly. Uh, really, really simple chords. Uh, really, really good, deep, meaningful lyrics. As far as for the rest of the record, though, I wasn't really a fan of it. Uh, just didn't really, didn't really move me. Uh, just kind of boring, you know, nonchalant. But those two songs were really freaking good. So, where am I going to put this record? Well, I don't think it was as bad as A Thousand Sons, so I'm going to put it in Illunium, and I think that's only fair. Okay, okay so, so my, my question, question for you guys is, is where would, would you rank, rank all these albums? albums? Put, put in the, the comment section, section below your, your favorite album, album your, your least favorite, favorite album. album. Feel, Feel free, free to, to do, do the whole list in the comment section, section below. What do you, what you guys, guys think, think of Linkin Park? Park? Do you think Hybrid Theory is a trash album? Do you think A Thousand Sons is a gold album? I want to hear your guys' opinions. More, More so, so than my, my own. own. I want to hear your guys' opinions down in the comment section below. If you guys have any ideas for any future tier lists, list, you want me to react to any bands, you want me to cover anything, anything just let me know. Your suggestions always really, 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 really help me. me. Your suggestions your always help me grow as a musician and as a YouTuber. I really, really appreciate you guys for tuning in as always. Thank you guys. Stay tuned for the next one, of course. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like button. And do, and do what, what you guys, guys got to do. do. Until, Until next, next time, time guys, guys Jay, Jay Adams, Adams out. out.